Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Here with a friendly reminder from the New Testament, not the Old Testament today, doing a quick departure from 2 Samuel. A reminder that in the middle of all the fights and the battles that David and his men did and all the kings of Israel did and Moses and Joshua and all those people in the, New, in the Old Testament did, that here in the New Testament we have our battle to face. Um, a lot of you who are believers, you've heard this before. Some of you may not have. Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty popular um, set of passages in the New Testament. So if you haven't heard any of your believer, more than likely you're a new believer, or you simply haven't gone to church to a church that preaches <laughs> very popular messages or very prevalent messages. I would be very shocked if all but a new believer had not heard this before. It's from Ephesians 6. That alone should ring a bell. Verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, and you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And if you, for a more in-depth study on that, read it yourself. Think about it. Plenty of books have been written on it. If you have a study Bible, this section almost certainly has a topic. Read it. Dive into it. And please, above all else, read this for yourself. Think on it and pray on it for yourself. It's so important to remember that every day we have battles that we need to face. They're not physical battles. Well, hopefully. And if they are physical battles, more than likely... You're in a military of one kind. God bless you if you are, and if you're not in the military, I just pray God's help for you and God get you out of that situation as soon as possible in Jesus' name. Here in the United States, it's not common to be in a situation where we have to fight every single day in the physical. So God bless you and God help you if you are in that circumstance. But it is very common and it is universal for humans to have to fight on a spiritual level and on an inner, mental, emotional, will type level. That is every day. That never goes away, even when we are physically at peace. And when you live in a nation that has peace, the battle of the soul and the battle of the spirit, that's real. That's daily. Study it for yourself. Look it over. This is a friendly reminder that, hey, you're in the middle of a battle. Hey, wake up and fight. And I want to leave you with a promise. And it's Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Yet in all these things, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.